How can Michigan achieve greater safety on our highways? This question is a grave challenge to all of us. The increased use of the motor car and the rapid development of its speed have brought new responsibilities to both the driver and the highway engineer. Your State Highway Administration has definitely recognized and accepted its share of this responsibility. Federal highway grants have enabled us to build safety into our highways. Today, we are planning and building permanent roads from which structural hazards have been eliminated. We hope that this film will give you a better understanding of what your state highway department has contributed and what you as drivers can contribute to make Michigan roads safer roads. Long before anyone dreamed of motorized transportation, the ox cart lumbering over dirt roads and trails, the prairie schooner traveling over many miles of pioneer roads, and the stagecoach rumbling over hill and dale represented the most rapid means of travel. In the horse and buggy days, the problem of safety on the highway did not loom as an important one. The horse was not capable of high speed, and besides, the intelligence of the horse was added to that of the driver, accounting no doubt for the old saying that a driver has horse sense. Then came the introduction of the horseless carriage. Each year found it developing so rapidly that it no longer remained merely a rich man's plaything, but became a daily transportation necessity for millions. But the rapid development of the modern motor car has brought with it multiplied traffic and accident problems. The old dirt and gravel roads were no longer adequate. Under the pressure of public demand, thousands of miles of new roads were constructed. While these roads represented an improvement in smoothness and endurance, most of them fell far short of the safety demands of present and future high-speed traffic. In too many instances today, we have a 90-mile-an-hour automobile being driven by a 50-mile-an-hour driver on a 40-mile-an-hour road. Experience has proved quite definitely that the modern automobile, as it comes from the assembly line, cannot be held responsible for more than 5% of the accidents. Where mechanical failure does occur, it is usually due to faulty maintenance and not to faulty design. Driving with poor brake adjustment, with wheels out of alignment, or with underinflated tires is driver failure and not car failure. Your state highway department realizes that much of the road mileage in Michigan is obsolete for modern traffic. Accordingly, it has carried out an extensive program. Not only have new and safer roads been built, many of the older roads have been reconstructed and redesigned. US 16 is an excellent example of highway reconstruction and widening. This highway has been converted from a narrow two-lane highway to a three-lane highway and sharp curves have been supplanted by broad, sweeping curves, such as this one. In time, it will be made into a four-lane thoroughfare. The widening of Woodward Avenue in the city of Detroit typifies the work being done to increase the driving areas and relieve traffic congestion, thereby substantially reducing the death and accident toll. Divided lane highways represent one of the most progressive steps toward the elimination of traffic friction. This divided lane highway on M39 and the super divided lane highway between Detroit and Pontiac on US 10 with its constantly flowing traffic emphasize the progress in safe road construction. Older type road construction, sharp curves without consideration for high speed motor traffic, lack of clear sight distance and super elevation have many times resulted in dangerous and fatal encounters. In direct contrast, this newly constructed curve on US-12 provides clear sight distance 
and super elevation, ensuring safety for even high speed traffic. Despite warning signs and signals, railroad crossings have always been the scene of too many fatal and destructive accidents. Each year, these crossings have brought death and accident tolls, which challenged the ingenuity of highway engineers. Your state highway department has met the challenge with an extensive grade separation program. Throughout the state, the construction of these grade separations will eliminate all friction between traffic and fast-moving trains. Not only do they ensure safety, but they also mean convenience and comfort for all motorists. When fast-moving traffic meets at blind intersections, the result is usually serious. This was only a close call, but it might have meant another fatal accident. When heavy traffic warrants them, road separations are an effective answer to intersection problems. Cloverleaf road separations have been constructed as the most effective means of allowing motorists to cross or enter intersecting lines of traffic. As the name implies, each of these separations has four entries to each of the two main highways, thereby positively eliminating all dangers of traffic friction. The older type road construction has many hills which are a menace to heavy traffic because crests obstruct the view of traffic from both directions. New highway construction and reconstruction modify these crests and ensure clear sight distance at all times. The maintenance division of your state highway department is definitely contributing to highway safety. Signs are posted at every point where a possible motoring hazard may exist. Reflectorized signals and signs protect motorists at night as well as in the daytime. All highways are clearly striped to keep traffic in the proper lane. A raised center line has been introduced as a further measure of protection against the careless motorist who might endanger all traffic by wandering beyond the center line stripe. However, despite all modern road construction and planning that is being done and all that is planned for the future, it is absolutely vital that the driver assume his personal responsibility to the whole life of the highway. The driver who gambles on the possibility of passing safely on a hill when he hasn't a safe, clear distance ahead is gambling against great odds. Then we have the driver who takes his half of the road out of the middle or wherever his fancy leads him. No rule of the road is more necessary to safety than that of being on the proper side of the road at the proper time. Unless a driver is passing another, his place is in the extreme right lane of traffic. At no time is there any excuse or reason for meandering beyond the center line. Again, it is a matter of personal responsibility to the whole life of the highway. Changing a tire is not a pleasant task, but to change a tire with your car parked on the highway is a deadly task. The driver who does this is endangering his own life and the whole life of the highway. Cars should never be parked on the pavement. Your state police are interested in the welfare and safety of all who travel on Michigan highways. Your cooperation in accepting their suggestion will do much toward making Michigan roads safer roads. Your State Highway Administration is exerting every effort to provide Michigan with good roads and safe roads. Roads as safe as planning, research, and engineering can make them. The Michigan State Police and your State Highway Department are doing their part. But the safety of Michigan's highways rests just as emphatically with you, Mr. Motorist, when you drive your car over these highways. Only with your cooperation and definite sense of personal responsibility in the use of our highways can Michigan roads truly be made safer roads. I sincerely hope that this motion picture has revealed the State Highway Department's program for safer roads. 
and the great need for continuing and extending this program. I also hope that it has emphasized the fact that this program is incomplete without your cooperation. No road can be saved unless you drive with a full sense of personal responsibility.